Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today we're going to be talking about multiplicity, which is the next thing regarding our UML, UML class diagram, which is kind of interesting. So, last time we talked about relationships between classes, which are these different arrows. But today we're going to be talking about multiplicity, which is the amount. So, I created this example, UML class diagram, which is about a house and things about this house. So the multiplicity is this number. So we have a house and a kitchen connected by a composition arrow. And then we have a number telling us how many of the kitchens we have. So the composition arrow tells us there's a strong connection between the kitchen and the house and we need both of them to exist for each other to exist. And we need exactly one of them. The same with the bath, we need exactly one. Then regarding the bedroom, we can have one or more, which is shown by using one dot dot asterisk or star, whatever you want to call it. And then we have our kitchen, bath, bedroom, just um, extending our room class. So they are like a super subclass relationships. And here we wouldn't use the multiplicity. It's more regarding like uh, relationships like these. Then we have a relationship between a house and mortgage, which just shows with a line, which is the same as just association, associated. And when we just have a number, dot, dot, number, it can mean either this number or this number or what in between. But in this case, we just have, you can have one or zero mortgages, which means when you have a house, you can either have a mortgage in the house or not, which is shown by the one dot. 0 dot dot 1 multiplicity then we have a mailbox which is connected to the house with an aggregation arrow which means they can't be connected but they don't need to be to exist where with the kitchen and the house they need to be connected to exist where the mailbox can exist together with the house but they don't need to be and here we would have exactly one so this is the basics of multiplicity it's having a number showing how these classes are connected with either like a specific number, we need specific amounts of these to have a connection, or with a range where you can have either from like a number to many, or in a specific range, for example, between 0 and 1, including 0 and 1. So that's the basics of multiplicity and what I got for now. Hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.